Hello antique fans and welcome to my channel for another antique related video. This is Deanna from Vintage Touch Antiques. Today I'm down here in the corner of your screen because another month has rolled by and so it is time for What's Been Selling, the video playlist that I have where I show you what sold out of the featured pieces that I had here on my webpage on the iantiqueonline.com format. I have that uh, the my page up here in the beginning here and you can see I have two sold albums. This one is July and this one is June. And once I start filling up the August sold album, then the June will go away. But I also have on here albums with featured, I mean categories of featured items. So you can look at my my pieces that I'm featuring by category or you can click on photos over here and just see all of my photos. So let me encourage you to do that. If you're coming to my antique booth, it, it's nice to check out what I have featured. It might be something that you might have overlooked when you get there. So let's see what sold because I am happy to report that I sold 37 items of, the, of just the featured items I had on here, which I think is pretty good. J July sales were strong for me and um, I'm happy for that. So let's see what sold. Okay, the first item, I'm going to click on it here. This was an item that I did have in one of my featured videos, and it's kind of a folk art type of primitive with the early original red paint. And it's a stack of drawers, a little cabinet. Had was made out of cigar boxes. Great old primitive piece, and this one sold for $85. The next piece I did, I may have shown this in one of my um, new arrivals or haul videos, but this is a rubber. Auburn rubber race car yellow and that one sold for $12. This was an advertising piece. It was Magic Song Restore Birdseed. I had this in the garden and outdoor section or featured area where I had an old bird cage or still do have the old bird cage. At least it was there the last time I was at the shop. And I had this piece sitting by it, which looked really good. And this piece sold for $12. I also had this great little, uh, this piece was a, a Japan tin litho wind up dock. It had the key here, which um, was part, became part of its tail, which I thought was really cute. It did work. And that one sold for $25. This next item was part of my travel display that I had in the front of my booth. This was a pair of uh, gentlemen's spats, what they wore um, above their shoes, around the, their ankle area. And this was an Edwardian, uh, Edwardian period piece, and those sold for $15. Now this was an online sale. This is a Victorian style cast iron base bill spike. Has the wonderful embossed cast iron base there. I actually use these bills, one of these bill spikes on my desk to hold credit card receipts. I sell a lot of these, so I'm really happy when I can find them. And that one sold for $9. Now this is a single edge razor that sold, had the word treat, the brand of it, a T-R-E-E-T, -E -E and that one sold, that razor sold for $10. Now this is a metal wall mount towel holder. It had a little ball, like a wood ball that um, as you put the edge of the towel up it through there, it held it very securely and this mounted to the wall. Really interesting uh, piece. And that one sold for $10. The next piece is an antique primitive patchwork quilt square. And it was framed, and this is a block square. Red and uh, early fabrics. It was, a, it was part of a cutter, 
quilt that had the early fabrics and the, and the red and black here, which makes it great for primitives. And the, I put this in an early frame, which was really nice. And this is just part of the reflection, this area right here that was from the camera. This did not have any kind of fading or color loss there. And this piece sold for $15. Now this piece is a wood bucket and I had this in my garden and outdoor featured area in my antique booth and I had a customer contact me. They saw that on one of my videos and were interested in purchasing it online. This is a seven inch high. Uh, it had a beautiful robin egg blue original paint on it and that piece, uh, the price on that, it sold for $35 which incidentally I'm very happy to do for all of my customers. If you see something in one of my videos, I'm very happy to pick that up and put it, list it in my online store if you want to purchase it. And then of course you'd have to pay shipping along with that. But that person also um, bought this little child's size prairie bonnet in a blue, light blue gingham, which was just an adorable little prairie bonnet. You don't often see those for children. And it had a little button, I mean, a snap closure in the back that formed the cap of the little bonnet. And that one sold for $10. And I hope you, if you're watching my video, that you were one of my lucky buyers. That's always exciting to see something that you purchased yourself. Now this is an early patchwork quilt that sold. And it was a four patch with beautiful calico prints and ginghams and early, early cloth fabrics with brilliant red border there. Nice quilt. Price on that one was $129. This was a pedal stool ironstone bowl and it was a nine and a half diameter. It was a McNichol brand, very utilitarian, chunky. You could do so much with this early bowl. And that one sold for $15. This is another advertising piece. This was a glass bottle. It once held Grand Union Lemon Extract. It had the original label on it and has a cork in it. And that one sold for $6. Another bowl that sold, this is a yellowware brown banded mixing bowl with beautiful brown bands there. It did have a lot of modeling on it around this area, as you can see. I personally just love that. I think it gives uh, your, your antiques uh, that character that primitive love, lovers just really enjoy. And... Um, that piece was a seven and a half inch diameter. It sold for $13. Here's another piece I may have featured, or not featured, but I may have shown this in one of my other videos, like going in new arrivals video or haul videos. I'm not sure, but this was a wood drawer. The size on this one was 12 and a half by 15. It had that great old wood paint, I mean green paint, excuse me, uh, character, character wear, just primitive, nice. Everybody lo everybody that loves primitives loves things that have this look to it. So, and this one sold for $15. Now here's a couple of early fishing lures that I was able to get. Um, fishing tackle or old fishing tackle sells really well. This uh, lure on this side was a head and pumpkin seed sunfish lure. And then this was a little frog lure which had these little floppy feet on the back. Really cute piece. Um, those sold for $15 each. Then I had a little container here full of aluminum garden mark markers that had the wire inserts that you stick down into the ground. These could be easily written on with markers. Great, would make great little markers for an herb garden, give it that antique touch. Those all sold for $4 each. This was an early box in sign. You can see the little, um, I don't know what you call those, little, the little, uh, 
box joint sides there that would have been part of the box. And I thought that just really looked good uh, could, to make that into a sign and added that little wire for hanging there. Great piece that would look good in a laundry room or a kitchen as an advertising piece. And that one sold for $12. Mm. Then this was a straight razor. It was a blue steel special. It had the great yellow celluloid handle there. It came with a box and that one sold for $15. A lot of these early shaving uh, collectibles and antiques really do sell well as well. Now this is an all tin. It's a scale basket. It's designed, I think, to sit on the top of a flat top scale. And then as you put in what you're weighing, it would easily pour out when you with the sloped sides like that. Now that would make a wonderful Easter basket, so use your imagination on these. And that one sold for $10. I loved this little book. Of course, I love little books. And I do have a video coming up uh, this month about some of the old books that I have in my own personal collection. This one is a was a tiny book that was entitled The Rise and Progress of Religion in the Soul. It had a copyright date of 1832, so it was a very early 19th century book. And what I love is the charming little calico uh, fabric that they have here to protect the spine of this book. Things were treasured by um, our ancestors, and that just really adds to its primitive character and charm, and that piece sold for $15. The next piece is an ecru collar, open weave, like a netting, open weave table runner. This one was uh, 15 inches wide by 53 inches long, nice old piece that would just really uh, you could use it in a lot of ways in a lot of areas and that one sold for ten dollars now this was a, a, a lot of character wear on this toy but charming as it can be like it would look wonderful with other early antique toys and of course just put it on your antique toy shelf for that matter um, it was a show and hot toy piano it did have a date on it of 1900, and now this piece was part of my reduced merchandise video, so you want to check that out. Um, I do put up those videos about twice a year, and those pieces are marked down with red pen on the tag, so when you're in my antique booth, just look for some of those bargains with the red pen markdowns. That one sold reduced for $29. And then I sold another little butter pad print. This one um, had a little floral pr butter pad print there. Uh, I have it laying on its side so you can see the print in this picture. And it sold for $15. This is a water dipper, all metal, with the little loop here on the, hand, the long handle so it could be hanging. So that would make a great wall hanger and very usable. And that one sold for $13. And then I had two of these. It's primitive clothes pins. It had the metal wrap here. This one was five and a half inches long. I have a couple of these in my um, laundry room that I hang on the wall with other laundry pieces and um, early pieces and they really are charming uh, primitive pieces. They sold for $12 a piece. This is a little wood tote style box. Um, it was just, let's see, 10 and a half inches long. I did have it in the shop with some garden tools in it, but you could use it for a lot of different things. And this box sold for $15. And then here was an early German New Testament. Now, this picture doesn't really do it justice. It's not as clear as I would like. But this piece I did show in one of my videos, and it had a copyright date of 1827, early piece. It did 
the the metal latches were gone. We only saw these, the, what was left of the metal latches, but uh, just a wonderful old antique book. And someone contacted me that saw my video and asked me to put this online for them to purchase. And I, of course, I was happy to do so, which I'm always happy to do for my customers. Either way, if you see something in my online store that you want in the shop, I'll do that too. And this one sold for $15. And then I had this beautiful, found, I was just really lucky to find this piece. It was an early Wayman black beaver gentleman's top hat. I did have one here that it was a shop sale only item because it just makes me nervous to think about uh, top hat shipping it without it being crushed in the mail. Uh, it sold in the shop and the price on that was $120. Okay, then I had uh, same person that bought the uh, blue bucket also contacted me about this piece that they saw on my web page. And this is a very nice, early, primitive, all tin coin bank. It's in the shape of a little house, beautiful character wear there on that piece, rugged, uh, with a little coin slot in the front. And that one sold for $18. Another purchase uh, along with that uh, Bible the customer was interested in this. Now this piece was in my shop and I picked it up for them as well. And this one, this is a, this was a small size photo album. Had this beautiful um, brass latches here, porcelain little beads here, highly embossed cover. The album itself did have a date, 1865. It was called a Harding Flexible Chain photo album. It had eight cabinet card, early cabinet card photos in it. And that one sold for $38. Now this was a piece that was bought online. This was in, in my online store. It's baby pantaloons or bloomers as some people call them. Great little eyelet trim here on the legs and button at the waist. And that, uh, those little baby pantaloons sold for ten dollars. Now this is a beautiful emboss. Look at the beautiful embossing here on this muffin ear or sugar shaker um, <clears throat> floral design. You don't often run onto them with, that have this beautiful embossing. I have a lot more. I run onto more of the plain ones but I was really happy to get a hold of this one and it sold for twenty dollars. Now this is an early print that was framed and it's called End of Day and it's, an, it's a great old country scene uh, with the farmhand there with his tools finishing his day in the fields and that one sold for $10. And this picture which is a walnut deep well frame this one was two and a half inches deep, which was a really deep frame. I came with this photo. The frame itself was a 12 by 13. And this was part of my reduced merchandise video. And this one sold reduced for $25. This was a granite ware, unusual granite ware mug that had a hinged lid and I'm demonstrating it there in the photo so you can see how it pops up and that white granite mug with blue trim sold for $12 and now we're back to the beginning so that shows you the featured pieces that I sold this month July 2016 that I had here on my web page. So I was happy that I had that many that, of featured items that sold. And so before I close, I'd like for you uh, like to remind you to check the description of the video where you will find the link to my web, web page, online store, and social media links. And when you come to my on web page, if you visit my web page, you will find these sold albums on here for the last two months, current and last, 
and also other featured items that I pointed out at the beginning of the video. I'd like to invite you to visit my antique booth. My antique booth is located in Antique Crossroads, Hagerstown, Maryland. Now, it, that's a nice one-level mall, lots of dealers. I'm on the left side of that mall third row. Just look for my large vintage touch sign that hangs in the back of my double space booth. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. I get so excited when I get a new subscriber and I so enjoy your comments and uh, just love to be able to help you and encourage you in your collecting of antiques and learning about them. So please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you. And also, let me encourage you to enjoy your antiques and learn about your antiques because when you own an antique, you own a piece of history. So bye-bye for now.